hello babies welcome to my channel so the get the power one we're going to hop right into it this is what you should know that people don't want you to know what you should know that people don't want you to know take a resonate leave it does it's not going to resonate with everyone and yeah we're going to get into it if you're interested in our patreon a personal reading they're down below in the description box so let's get into it okay um so some of you guys this could be Taurus here um, this could be Aquarius, it does not have to be, but if the situation resonates with you, it could very well be your situation here. But a lot of you guys, there is somebody that is ignoring your cause because they're around someone that they should not be around. Some of you guys, there is someone that is married for the ones, if you're married or you're married to someone. Some of you guys, there is someone that is not around when you call them or things like that. Like some of you guys, it's going to be while somebody's out making errands with this Nine of Swords. Like when somebody's out making errands and things like this um yeah a lot of you guys here they can even be somebody that tells you that they have some type of opportunity that's coming up or something that they have to do that's coming up for some of you guys if you are married or you with some type of relationship with someone there is somebody that is ignoring your cause because they're around someone that they shouldn't be around somebody could be in a room with another person anything like that but this is what i'm getting here we got tours Get, got a query if somebody's ignoring y'all calls because they're around someone they're around someone else basically they're around another person that they're dating or getting to know or something like this that they have no business being with some of you guys this could be somebody where they have like a lot of trips they have a lot of errands this is a person where they have married they married this, or this person could have a lot of trips or errands when it comes to their job this person has a lot of obligations this person can help people in some type of way or they can do something to help others in something um, this is what I'm getting here. This could be somebody where they're very knowledgeable on something here. This person could be like in a not very knowledgeable position here. I don't know, but somebody's ignoring y'all cause because they're with someone else here. And a lot of you guys, this person could even tell you that they're going to do this. Oh, but I'm about to go make this errand, babe. Or, oh, I'm about to, uh, go to this meeting. I had this opportunity that's coming up, this job event coming up. So some of you guys, if someone around you and you're married to them or you live with them and they have like a very demanding job, but all of a sudden they have like all these things that they got to go do. Um, they have all these opportunities coming up at their job that they have to be there for. Like, cause this, some of you guys, whoever this person is, they make it sense they have to be there for sure. Like, like it's certain that they can't miss a day or there's certain where they can't do this, they can't do that. So this is what I'm getting here. Like somebody makes it seem as something that they're doing is a very big deal. They have to get there. Um, some of you guys could be a situation somebody's always in a rush as well. Like some of you guys, somebody's always in a rush to get somewhere. Somebody always has to be somewhere. Like they, like somebody, like I have to be there. There's this happening. So a lot of you guys, if there's something where somebody's acting very assertive, they're rushing out the house, or they're rushing to get somewhere. And they're moving a lot quicker than what they usually move. Um, if this is somebody where um they have something coming up and they assist, they have to be there and they can't make any accommodations. Uh, some of you guys, some of you guys, this could be somebody that's bald for some of you guys. Some of you guys, this could be somebody that's like bald in the middle, and they have like like this could be a man that's bald in the middle and they have hair like around their hair, like they have hair like around the perimeter, but they're bald in the middle for some of you guys. Some of you guys, this person could wear a hat, or they could wear something on their head. But some of you guys, this person could be like losing hair. They don't have to be completely bald, but they could be losing hair in like the middle and have hair around like the rest of their head. This is what I'm getting. So we're going to move on from this. But somebody's ignoring your cause and they rushing out the house or acting like they got to go to a meeting or they got to be somewhere because they doing this, they doing that. It's because this person is whooping up the person that they should not be with. And this person, if you call this person for some of you guys and they didn't answer your call, they be ignoring your cause. Oh, I can't answer your call because I have to do this. I have to do that. No, they didn't. This person's whooping up the person. So that's for some of y'all. We got Taurus and Aquarius. Say for some it does not resonate for everyone. Okay, so yeah, we're moving on from that. Um, but yeah, that's what's money to know. So we have Taurus here. So this could be a Taurus here for some of you guys, or you could be a Taurus here. Um, but some of you guys, there's a situation where somebody was trying to work on something. Somebody could have been dating someone that you're with right now or someone that you're talking with right now. So some of you guys, there's a situation where somebody could have dated someone. The person that you're with now or the person that you're talking to now, this person could have went through a lot of struggles, a lot of up and downs with someone. And somebody tried to fix a relationship with a person, get back on the same page with a person, but it wasn't successful. Somebody's upset because somebody is doing everything that they want this person to do for them for you. So this is what y'all should know that um, people don't want you to know. Somebody was trying to keep another person 
somebody's trying to keep another person from moving on or, or keep another person from leaving them by continuing to sleep with them this is somebody where they could have been in a relationship with this person this person could even betray them in a relationship like this person could have been so some of you guys somebody's upset because they was dating someone that could have treated them poorly did not treat them right betrayed them they tried to fix this relationship with this person they kept on trying to sleep with this person to to get things to work or whatever and this person was unsuccessful and now this person's upset because this person's with you now and this person's treating you how they want to be treated so i don't know there's something like this somebody feel like somebody got with you and they treated you how they should have treated them so um this is what i'm getting here okay um so we're gonna be moving on for that here but um yeah so a lot of you guys here we have a pisces we have a leo we have a virgo this could be any other science here this could be your science here but some of you guys there is somebody that was leading you on for some of you guys that was not serious here um we got the strength card here and we got the ten of pentacles here so some of y'all um this was some this is what i'm getting here y'all could have emotionally walked away for someone some of you guys you could have been self-doubting your worth you could have felt you weren't good enough here for some of you guys well this ten of pentacles here somebody was leading you on for your for your stability here or leading you on because you have something here that they want so some of you guys have you some of you some of you guys y'all dodged a bully here some of you guys somebody was leading you on for some of you guys uh you this person could emotionally walk away from you you could walk away from this person but somebody you walked away from someone some of you guys you could have been self-doubting yourself wondering um if i'm not good enough for something like this here um somebody was trying to use you for your finances here so this is what i'm getting here a lot of you guys somebody was trying to use you for your um things that you have for yourself so if you were second guessing something don't worry about that okay we're going to be moving on Okay, so we got Aries here. We got Libra here. So some of you guys, this could be your signs or this person's signs. I'm getting two different messages to so take a resonate. So some of you guys, you could be in a relationship with someone and the person that you're in a relationship with, you and this person. Okay, some of you guys, if you're in a relationship with someone, and it's not going to resonate for everyone, but if you're in a relationship with someone and you and this person are not getting along, you and this person, um, this person is somebody where they're very narrow-minded, they disapprove of a lot of things that you do, this is somebody that's jealous of you. Some of you guys, you are in a relationship with someone, and you and this person has been being, having issues. And I'm not getting issues as far as um, like this person has issues with the things that you do, have issues with the things that you want to embark on, the things that you say, the things you put your mind to. If somebody like that that you're with and are having issues with something that you're doing, it's because this person sees that you're going to be very big. A lot of you guys, you could be dating somebody that's very jealous of your potential here. some of you guys you can have a partner that sees that you're going to be very big you you're gonna you something that you do is going to be very big it's something that you can bring to life here and this person's jealous of that and they're trying to stop you from create creating like somebody trying to manipulate you block your creativity here other this could be a family member some of you guys are going to be a family member here that is narrow-minded this could be a family member here that don't approve of the things that you approve of they don't have the same ideas that you have you and this person are two completely different people y'all completely think different this person is trying to stop you from creating something because they see the truth they see the potential that you have to be very big they see the potential that you have to be very um have to have the stardom to have that power so somebody's trying to stop y'all so some of y'all this could be a relationship that you're in some of y'all just a family member here that sees your potential they see that you're going to be very big in life and trying to stop that from progressing so um yeah we're going to move on from that okay okay so a lot of you guys um we have the judgment card in reverse here we got the high priestess here in reverse which is two major arcanas here um so some of you guys here um this is what i'm getting here so this this could resonate this could be sagittarius here take resonate and leave a dozen here but some of you guys somebody is trying to justify something that they did off of something that you did so some of you guys you could um, some of you guys somebody could have did something be, off of something that you did and they're trying to make us something that they did justify so let me give you this love you guys there's somebody that's basically making it seem like you're the reason why they went and made a certain decision and somebody's trying to manipulate you and keep it from using your intuition here so some of you guys there could be something like this you heard somebody feeling they went and did something extreme um you forgot to um i'm trying to think of an example like this is a stream whoever this person is so this is what someone um uh, what you should what you should know that people don't want you to know 
if there's someone that's trying to basically manipulate you they don't want you to use your intuition here this is somebody where they're trying to make it seem like you're the reason why they made a decision oh well you didn't do this for me so i did this and i did that um this is this is what i'm getting this is somebody where it's like well you didn't buy me this purse so i went and dated this guy he bought me a purse it could be anything like that or you made me upset so i went out like and i dated someone else so yeah this is somebody that does something extreme here so this is what somebody does not this could be sagittarius here somebody basically did something that you did something to accept this person they went and did something to the complete extreme and this person is going to justify them doing that because you did what you did so that's for some of y'all so if you deal with that let that person go okay we're gonna be moving on here so we got the nine of wands here we got the six of cups here so take person they leave a dozen this could be a scorpio this could be a sagittarius here so some of you guys here this could be somebody that's refusing to date you or refusing to get back together with you because they seen that you're somebody could be refusing to get back together with you because they seen some type of text messages of you still talking to somebody from your past here some of you guys this could be a situation here for some of you guys where somebody uh is refusing to let you see their phone because they're talking to somebody from the past so it's not for all of y'all but some of you guys if somebody around you is not letting them see your phone not letting them see your they don't want you to see their their phone they want you to have their passwords or anything like that it's because this person is talking to somebody from their past so man it can be a situation where you've seen some type of messages and somebody's denying something but they seem because you've seen something from the past somebody's refusing to date someone because they're still messing with someone from the past or somebody or some of y'all there can be a situation where you refuse to date somebody from the past because you've seen proof so take a resonate you know this is this can go any way you know i'll get them off to with different storylines but them the storylines i'm getting here but i guess scorpio sagittarius here so yeah we're gonna be moving on from that here as well so some of you guys here there is somebody we got okay so some of you guys there is somebody that has a lot of chemistry we got taurus we got sagittarius here so a lot of you guys there's somebody that has a lot of um chemistry with you you and the person can have a lot of deep conversations but somebody, somebody wants to date you. They feel like you have a lot of chemistry. They feel like you have a lot of deep conversations with one another. But this person can't come towards you because they're being controlled by somebody for money. So somebody is dating or dealing with another person for finances. And they're being controlled by another person because they need this person's finances. But this person has chemistry with you. So this is what I'm getting for some of y'all. Like somebody... Somebody's basically being controlled by somebody that takes care of them, or somebody's being controlled by somebody that that has some type of money. So somebody has a lot of chemistry with you, they want to talk to you, they want to date you, but they can't date you because they're being controlled by somebody that takes care of them or somebody that has money. So somebody could be dating another person, and the person that they're dating is taking care of them, and this person's refusing to compromise with you because they need this person's finances or they need this person's resources. So um yeah we're gonna be moving on from that but that's for some of you guys here okay so some of you guys we got the four of cups here we got the moon card in reverse we got the seven of wands here and we also had a death card in reverse here so we got cancer pisces we have leo we have scorpio so it could be any one of these signs here this could be your signs as well but some of you guys somebody rejected you because that was the first somebody so some of you guys somebody had feelings for you or they like you here but they rejected you here yes yeah, so somebody rejected you and somebody trying to suppress their emotions and somebody's been defensive towards you but somebody's unable to move away from you or unable to move forward yeah so some of y'all somebody does not want things to be over yeah so some of y'all somebody rejected you here somebody suppresses their emotions and somebody's defensive towards you because they was afraid to fall for you but this person has emotions for you not things in between y'all and they want things to be over so somebody does not want the they don't want things to be over between y'all two but this is somebody where they pushed you away they rejected you because of some type of um, don't have any emotions for you, but feeling, like, feel like, but but afraid that you can hurt them, so they rejected you. So that's for some of you guys here. We're gonna be moving over here. So some of you guys, there is some. This could be Aquarius. We got Capricorn. We got Leo here. So some of you guys, there is somebody from the past that betrayed you. For some of you guys, this is somebody where they acting like they changed. They acting like they um. So, you know, this, this is somebody in the past that did something shady to you in the past, and you some of you guys you could have forgave this person. This person could act like they changed. For some of you guys, they act like they're not that person anymore. But the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, this person is still the same here. Some of you guys, somebody's jealous of you because somebody's jealous of you because they want what you have here. We got the Queen of Wands here. 
somebody wants what you have here somebody cares about how other people view them here as well yes yeah, so some of y'all somebody act with their chances yeah some of y'all be careful because somebody around y'all betrayed y'all in the past and this person's acting like they changed and things like that the only reason why this person act like they changed is because you have a lot of opportunities coming towards you yeah so some of y'all somebody basically betrayed you in the past and somebody wants what you have but somebody acting like they change because they say that you bring a lot of attraction towards you a lot of you guys you use somebody where you're very attractive a lot of people get compliments you bring a lot of things to you and somebody desires what you have somebody has a lot of greed behind them some of you guys this is gonna be somebody that's um have a lot of greed because of them not being able to create what they want to create yeah so a lot of you guys somebody's basically pretend like they for you so some of you be careful of somebody that used to be shady towards y'all or used to do something weird towards y'all but and they start to support you like some of you guys if you know that somebody is supporting you and this is somebody where they could have been very nasty towards you in the past this person's trying to make you think they changed or whatever but this person really did not change this person just really want what you have and they're trying to save face here somebody trying to save face here so this is what i'm getting here we're gonna move on for now somebody see this I'm getting like a roly and stunning situation. Like some of you guys, somebody basically beef with you, and then they're trying to come cool with you because they see where you're going and kind of want to be on, on your team here, and they see what you're attracting here. So that's for some of you guys here. Um, yeah, we're moving off from that. Um, yeah. So also some of y'all, whoever this person is, they see that you're getting some type of gig here. Yeah. So some of you guys, you're getting some type of gig here. And somebody that used to be, like, real shady or didn't support you or just acted funny in the past. This person is basically going to start acting like they changed and they're going to start supporting you all of a sudden or cheering you on. It's because this person sees where you're going and trying to hop on while they can here. Because this person is saying that you're getting some type of gig here. We're going to be moving on here. So some of you guys here, this could be a masculine that's jealous of you. Um, or this could be a woman. Of the, so some of you, this is the opposite gender. So some of you guys, if you're a woman, there's a masculine that's jealous of you. If you're a masculine, there's a woman that's jealous of you. So some of you guys, this is a masculine. If you're a woman, some of you guys, this is a masculine that's jealous of you because of what you do for work. This is a masculine that wants to self-sabotage you. They want to stop you from progressing and stop you from growing here. But because this person, so yeah, a lot of you guys, there's a masculine here that see, see that you're growing here. And this person could have some type of childhood trauma. Like this person could that's supposed to be something. So there's a masculine that could be jealous of what you're doing for work if you're a woman here. This person wants to self-sabotage you because they see that you're growing rapidly. And the person wants to, this person wants to move forward towards their dreams and goals, but they don't know how to make it happen. They can feel like it's unrealistic here. So this person's trying to figure out a way to sabotage you. That's for some of you guys. Others of you guys, there's a masculine here that is um, jealous of you because of the way that you look. Some of you guys, this is a masculine for some of you guys that wants to sabotage you because of their identity issues. So some of you guys, this is a masculine that wants to be a female and they're jealous of you because you're everything that they want to be. So some of you guys, if you have a masculine around you or, or, or even if you're a man, if you are a woman or a man and you have somebody of the opposite gender around you and they're always talking about you or they're always being very snobby or shady towards you or, or they tr always treating you a certain way and things like that it's because this person really wants to be a woman or they really want to be a masculine and the person's jealous because they you are what they want to be like if they have to choose a woman they would choose your body or somebody wants to be you but they're their opposite gender others of you this is somebody again where they can be jealous of what you do for work like this would be a masculine that's jealous that you're in a better position than what they are in financially and the person instead of the person you know going after their goals and dreams they want to stop you from progressing and this person's trying to figure out a way they can do that so again if you're a masculine this is a woman that's trying to do this if you're a woman this is a masculine that's trying to do this um but we're moving on here to next time bye babes hello babies welcome to my channel so if we get the power one we're gonna hop right into it loves already staged over the cards and shuffled over the decks so babies let's get into this reading if this reading does resonate with you please hit the like button comment down below subscribe and hit that notification bell yeah let's get into this reading of loves and i love you guys all thank you so much and i miss you let's get into this reading here okay so some of you guys here this is what you should know that people that you shouldn't know what you should know that people don't want you to know that you should know okay so we got Taurus here. We got Virgo here. This could be their signs or this could be your signs here. We have the Six of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles here. We got the World card in reverse here. So some of you guys, there is a situation where somebody's giving to another person 
but they want to give to you so some of you guys there could be a situation where somebody has a family with someone someone's giving to their family but somebody's disappointed so some of you guys somebody wishes they would have met you before they got married or before they had a family with someone somebody checks you out when you're around there somebody watches you walk away from them so yeah so some of you guys somebody's giving to another person but they want to give to you here somebody's unhappy here somebody's disappointed so somebody has a family or something with someone that they don't want to have a family with. Somebody watches you walk away or watch you when you walk around them. And it's just somebody that's giving to another person here. So I don't know. That's what I'm saying for some of you guys. But that's what you know. Somebody's giving to another person. They have a family. They have things uh, or they live with another person. They have things built with another person. But this person's watching you here. Some of you guys, this could be somebody that is giving to a family member. Some of you guys, this could be somebody that's married into your family or a family friend. This came out in another reading. But someone could, like, be dating someone that's that's dating someone from your family or something like this here. And this person's giving to this person what they want to give to you. They're very disappointed here. And the others of you here, this is, this, is, this is just somebody that's given to another person. They have a family or something like this. Or they already have, or they don't have a family. They already live with someone. They already have assets and things together with another person. But they're disappointed because they want to give to you here. Somebody's not happy. You know, somebody's disappointed here. So, yeah, that's what I'm getting here. This is what you should know that you shouldn't know here. Okay, we're going to be moving on here. So, we have Cancer here. We have Leo here. This could be your sign or this could be this person's signs here. So some of you guys, there is somebody that it feels, feels like they're losing control when you guys hang out. So some of you guys, there is somebody that feels, this could be a friend for some of you guys. This could be somebody that's um a associate, a co-worker. This is somebody that you have been to a gathering with or you hung out with before. This could be a family member. This could be anybody that you would hang out with outside to go to a type of gathering. Or to just be around other people. Some of you guys, somebody feels like you're very captivated. Somebody feels like you are able to hold people's attention. So some of you guys, there is a Cancer or a Leo. Or you could be a Cancer or a Leo. There is somebody that feels like every time they go out or celebrate with you. Every time they have an event with you or a gathering with you. Every time they do something with you. Um, they're always, somebody feels like they're always losing control here. So somebody feels like you're um always getting attention. So some of you guys, this could be somebody where they try to go out and they try to keep the attention on them but somehow some way you captivate people so this is what i'm getting here somebody has a problem with that yeah we got the tower card in reverse here somebody's trying to um re resist something from happening yeah we got the emperor here somebody's losing control see what i'm trying to tell y'all uh we have aries here as well so this could be aries here or something like this here. Yeah, so some of you guys, there's a situation where this could be Aries, Cancer, or, Sagitt or Leo, or Sagittarius here. A lot of you guys, every time you go out to some type of an event, or every time you go out to some type of party, or gathering, or with someone, somebody feels like you overpower them. Somebody feels like you're more attention than them. You're more seen than them. You're more noticed than them. You captivate people's attention. Somebody's triggered by that. So this is what I'm getting here. So, I don't know, y'all, but somebody feels like every time you hang out with you or go out with you, you always got the, all the attention just always just on you. Somebody feels like they never have the attention on them. They're always losing control. Like, this is somebody where they feel like they, this is somebody where they control the attention where they at. So, this is what I'm getting. Like, some of you guys, somebody's used to having people's attention. They're used to having control over people. This is somebody where they hang around a group of people or they know a group of people that kind of praises them and they have control over them people because the people look up to this person as being someone but then when you come around this person hang out with you you just captivate any everybody around you so this person feels like they have a disadvantage than you or somebody trying to resist you from getting attention so this is somebody that hang out with you when you're hanging out with them they're trying to do things to get more attention than you they're trying to do things to outshine you or something like this here so we're gonna be moving on for now but that's what y'all should know that that um the people don't want you to know here okay um we're gonna be moving on here as well so some of you guys here we have um the nine of wands in reverse we have the pipe this is gonna be pisces here says here we have the nine of cups here reverse so some of you guys this is a sibling here some of you guys there is a sibling that's only looking out for themselves so this is somebody where they're very manipulative here this is somebody where they're refusing to fix things with you or refusing to compromise with you here i want to see why we got the judgment card here in reverse. Okay, so this is not for all of you, all of you guys. So some of you guys, 
there is a sibling for some of you guys that's very manipulated. This is somebody where they're only looking out for themselves. This is somebody where they're refusing to compromise with you. For some of you guys, there's a sibling that is beefing with you or they have some type of issues with you because of the way that people praise you. Like some of you guys, there is a sibling that's jealous of you. Um, they have some type of problem with you because of the way people compliment you. Like this is somebody where they feel like people judge you. Um, this person feel like people don't judge you. Like people feel like when like when you make mistakes or whatever like that, people um don't judge you and stuff like that. But when, but when they make mistakes, people talk about them. Um, people refuse to help them. People refuse to compromise. Yeah, so some of you guys, you have a sibling that feel like people just lead them out for themselves. They have to figure things out for themselves. Um, they feel like when they make a make a mistake, people don't want to help them fix it, or people don't want to compromise. But when it's you, people don't care. They let this slide. So. There is a sibling that's jealous of you or beefing with you because they feel like they don't get the same grace that you get. And the person feels like they're always being judged by people or stuff like that here. So, yeah, we have Pisces and Sagittarius here. We also have Capricorn here. Um, So, there could be a Capricorn or Sagittarius or a Pisces sibling that's jealous of you because they feel like you always get grace. They feel like there's always people that let you slide. But when they do something, they have to figure it out by themselves. Um, they have to make a way by themselves. This person feels this person gossips about you as well. Uh, this person gossips, gossips, gossips about you and stuff like that. This person is um trying to look out for themselves here. They gossip and say that you're only looking out for them for yourself. Um, you're refusing to help them or do something, you're only looking out for themselves here. But yeah, y'all have a sibling that's basically y'all have a sibling that wants y'all to feel how they feel. There's a sibling that feels like feel left out in the cold. By, and this is not even some of you guys this is around people around like you, some of you guys who have a sibling that's beefing with you because of the way that people view you the way that people care about you the way that people give you grace the way that people give you room to grow and stuff like that and this person basically wants you to feel left out because they felt left out so this is what i'm getting here by people around them so instead of them being upset about the people around them they're being upset at you because people like you or people love you or people give you grace there's something like this here we have the death card here we got the um musician so this could be a scorpio or a libra here for some of you guys for some of you guys there's a scorpio or a libra that's trying to put an ending to something that you're creating some of you guys you're creating something and there's a scorpio or a libra that's trying to put an end into it because of strangers like some of you guys you're creating something and you have a lot of people supporting you you have strangers supporting you um you have people that you don't know that well that's supporting you and somebody wants to put an end into it because they're seeing you create something so yeah, somebody does not like the fact that you have people that cheer for you, clapping for you. Yeah, so some of you, yeah, so some of you guys, this is somebody that feels like they're an it girl or an it guy. So some of you guys, there's somebody that feels like they're some type of it girl, there's some type of it guy, and nobody's. This is somebody where they just put themselves on a the pedestal. It's not like anybody put them there. So yeah, that's what I'm getting. Like some of you guys, somebody put puts you up on a pedestal. Somebody put themselves on a pedestal themselves, and somebody wants to end something for you because you're creating something that's getting a lot of attention, that's getting a lot of people um, support you, and somebody wants to put an end to that because it's almost like two people are. It's almost like somebody put them on some type of facade. They put themselves on some type of put pedestal that they're, they're this girl, they're, they're they're this guy, but you're really that girl or that guy, and they want to put an end to it because whatever they're doing is just a facade. What you're doing is real. So somebody basically wants to put an end in or stop you from creating something because you're growing, and people are liking you here. We got the sun card here. We got the um strength in reverse so this is definitely a leo here so some of you guys here there's so some of you guys use some there's a leo for some of you guys that is self-doubting themselves like some of you guys here there's a leo that is um i'm i want to say jealous i'm not necessarily getting jealous but they feel insecure so some of you guys there is a leo that you may feel insecure a lot of you guys you get a lot of attention without trying here like a lot of people notice you you get a lot of attention without trying here and somebody's insecure because of that like and you don't try so some of you guys there's a leo or someone that it, that or you could be a leo but there's someone that gets a lot of attention no, you somebody that gets a lot of attention and you don't try and somebody's insecure because of that. Like somebody is insecure because they try to do things to get attention and you do the bare minimum. You just get attention naturally and somebody's insecure over that. So we're moving on here. Okay, so some of you guys here, this could be a Pisces here. This could be a Virgo. This could be a Virgo Capricorn Taurus here. So we got Pisces, Virgo, Capricorn Taurus here. So it could be any of them signs. 
this could be your science here but some of you guys there is somebody that's fake happy for your accomplishments some of you guys you are having a lot of accomplishments and somebody's acting like they're happy for you but they're really not some of you guys this is somebody where they're um having some type of setbacks here yeah so some of you guys somebody's having some type of setbacks um when it comes to some type of stability here and they're losing opportunities while you're getting your wish for okay yeah back to so this can't even be that person i was telling you about somebody that put themselves up on the pedestal so take a resonate leave it doesn't but some of you guys there is a person that puts themselves up on a fake pedestal this is somebody where they act like they have it they act like they live that life they act like they're this it girl they act like they're the, they're they're this it guy but this is really someone that just looks like they're this version somebody looks like they're that girl or that guy but they're really not that girl or guy somebody's having some type of setbacks in their life somebody could be going through some things that sh their life is turning for the, not for the best somebody's having some type of setbacks in their life that's making changes in their real world right now and somebody's putting on some type of act as if they're very stable act as if they have everything that people are looking for somebody basically comes off as somebody basically comes off or project themselves as being this perfect person the perfect partner the perfect business partner somebody acts as if they're the best option so somebody tries to come off like they're the best option or best choice in the room here but somebody's really having some type of setbacks when it comes to them being stable like somebody's not as stable as they project themselves to be somebody also does not have as many opportunities as they betray themselves to have and somebody's not happy for you because you actually do a lot of you guys you have some type of wish fulfillment that's coming in and this is something that's really real this is something that's not fake this is not something that's not a facade you actually put the hard work in for something that you have and you're getting accomplishments for it and somebody's acting happy for you but they're not because this person betrays themselves to be what you're what you are like some of you guys you are the real deal you're actually are like a real it girl you're actually like a real it guy you actually somebody where you hustling you actually out here putting making changes you actually out here making a lot of goals making your dreams happen somebody else betrays as if they do make their dreams and goals happen but they really don't somebody just really have a lot of setbacks in their life somebody's not as stable as they once were before now this could even be somebody that was the igor they could have been igor a guy but maybe this person thought they lost their gym say qua but this is somebody where they had they're losing opportunities or this person is don't have as many opportunities as they portray themselves to have and you do while they're over here faking a funk you actually are the real deal and somebody is acting happy for you but they're not they act like they're happy for you but they're really not so we're going to be moving on from that but yeah that's what y'all should know that people don't want y'all to know here um yeah so let's see here what was this here okay so we got you give me dope me hi you make me feel alive okay so some of y'all take a resonate leave a dozen here but some of you guys we got the page of cups here this is my that's very childish here okay so some of you okay i'm gonna give you the science first and i'm gonna tell you what i'm seeing we got pisces taurus we have aquarius we have sagittarius we got sagittarius we got cancer we have um, we got the Page of Cups. We got the Five of Pentacles in reverse. We got the Seven of Swords in the upright. We have the Tempers here in the upright. We have the Nine of Wands in reverse. We have the Chariot here in the upright. So this is going to resonate with some of you guys. It's not going to resonate for all of you guys. This is what you should know that you shouldn't know. Some of you guys here, there is somebody that's trying to use you to get back on her feet and betray y'all. Like some of you guys, somebody trying to use you as a come up woman or a come up guy. For some of you guys, like a lot of you guys, somebody's going through something here, and somebody basically going to use you to help them get out of hard times. Once they get out of hard times, this person is going to betray you once they're back on their feet, once they're balanced. And this is somebody where they're going to try, to, they're going to start to like change or how they treat you because they have a, they're in a better place. So some of you guys, there is a person that's trying to use you to get on their feet here. And then once they use you to get on their feet, they're going to betray you. So some of y'all, this is somebody where they're trying to use you as help. Like somebody's trying to use you as helping them. Like you come in, you help them with finances, you help them with resources, food, water, shelter, whatever. Like somebody's basically trying to use y'all as a come up woman or man. This is what y'all should know. Like a lot, we, we have you give people dope me. You give people how you make them feel alive. Some of you guys, somebody's trying to take what your your energy and they're trying to take it and go give it to another person so i'm giving y'all i'm gonna give y'all two different um situations because i'm seeing two different situations here some of you guys 
this is someone where they see somebody somebody's basically trying to use you for your finances or resources somebody's going through something they don't have they're in poverty or they don't have any money or they're sick they're going through something here somebody wants to use you and your resources to help them get back on their feet once you help this person get back on their feet they're going to betray you and act, this is somebody where they're going to betray you and act as if you never helped them act as if act as if you never looked out for them they're going to betray you and then this person is going to start treating you weird now that they're back this is the type of person that will use you and help to get on their feet and then they'll turn around and snake you so this is down here and bite the hand that feeds you so this is somebody where you will look out for them and then they'll turn around and try to you know s-h-i-t on you because they're doing better than you so some of you got somebody trying to use you to get back on their feet, betray you once they're back on their feet, and then treat you as if you never helped them because they're in a better spot, because they're in a better place. This is somebody where they're in an ego here. Others of you, this is somebody where they feel insecure, they don't feel good about themselves. You start to make them feel good about themselves, you start to hype them up, you start to make them feel as if they're that girl or that guy, and then they're going to try to go off and betray you and basically try to. I'm getting like, what's that movie um off of um Love Don't? I think it's called Love Don't Cost a Thing. Uh, with with um Christina and it could be that Christina Milian um Nick Cannon something like that so some of y'all somebody could be trying to do that that you are like this it girl this it guy you like someone you see them for who they are someone you somebody you get big headed because they're dating you or they're talking to you so they try to treat you horribly and betray you because they think that they're this guy or this girl now or whatever I'm hearing. I hear you wasn't special too. I made you so you better act like you know. So this is what I'm getting here. So this is y'all reading y'all. So take a reason and leave it doesn't. But this is what y'all should know that people don't want you to know that you should know.